Hey you guys, today is a baking day. I put two teaspoons of rice in the bottom of each cupcake compartment. That way it absorbs any excess grease and the paper wrappers don't get gross. Now these tulip paper wrappers that I'm using say that they are grease proof, but I've never used them before. So I don't trust them. And I like to use the tulip shaped baking cups because you can put the batter in there and frost it and then put the cupcakes in a cupcake box without touching the frosting and making a giant mess. And it's easier for folks to take out because they can just grab the corners of the tulip uh, paper and pull it out. So I've got the red velvet and I've got the chocolate. And I'm getting ready to do the carrot cake, but I wanna show you guys, look at the paper. See that? These are supposed to be grease proof. You can see grease right there. And if I wouldn't have put rice in the bottom of that, that wrapper would have been a freaking mess. Grease proof my ass. Now you can see I have just put these in my cupcake box. They fit so perfectly. Look at how nice and tall this box is. It is easier to decorate the cupcake when it's already in the box than to try and decorate it and then move it into the box and people go to grab them, they can just grab two corners and pick it up and they're not gonna get frosting all over their hands. Magic. And that's a wrap, you guys. Here we have the espresso chocolate with a dark chocolate Italian meringue buttercream. Then here we have the red velvet with a cream cheese buttercream. And now we have the carrot with a uh, cream cheese buttercream and a dusting of cinnamon and just a little hint of pumpkin spice caramel. Look at how nice these are boxed up. Still plenty of room on the top where they're not going to get squished at all.